Welcome to the Spelling Netcast for this week. Make sure that you have your spelling pencil, your spelling glue, your scissors to cut out your words, your zip top bag to put your words in after you finish cutting them out and sorting, your spelling book, and of course, do not forget your spelling words. So let's get started. We'll cut out our words first. Looks like we're doing some prefixes this week. So we'll cut these out. There they are, prefixes. Sub, com, pro, and n. N. Interesting. N. E. N. So prefixes, as we know, come at the very beginning of a word. That's why there's a dash at the end of those. Because that tells us that it comes before a root word. So I'm just going to pop this like that. That gives us our... Our words. Now, when I cut these out, I like to cut this out straight out this way. So that gives us our, uh, our space across the top so we can write that in. So let's get the rest of these cut out. I'm going to go up one side, then I go up the other, and then I put them all together and cut them out. Now, I want you to spread these words all out. Now, you need to make sure that you have these cut out also. Don't just say, oh, well, I'll just read them off of the, the card and not cut them out. Because you need to be able to see every word, but I want you to sort them also. So don't just write or just uh, look at them. Because that's not going to help you at all. Be a better speller. It's not going to help you be a better sorter. Um, it's not really going to help you a lot doing anything. Okay? So make sure that you put these words all out so you can see them all. And as I say a word, make sure that you pick it up, put it where I do, say the word when I say it, or right after I do. And then we'll write and talk about the word. All right, so we're putting these words all over the place here. I'm going to move my words up a little bit. so I can set some down around the bottom. Looks like I've got them all uh, done. So let's get our special spelling glue. And we'll put a little glue across there, and we'll put that up on the top here. So we've got prefixes, sub, com, pro, en, or n. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to write these with our special spelling pencil. But you'll notice that I'm going to leave a little extra space on the top. I've got this line right here that we're going to leave extra because I'm going to write what some of these words mean. So let's go sub dash com dash pro dash en dash. Now that I've got those written out, now I can cut these because you're going to need these tomorrow for your sorts. So put them in your zip top bag and you're ready to go. All right. Put those on your fridge or wherever you want. All right. So let's see what we got here. So it looks like we got sub com pro en. So Let's look at a word here like subway. Subway. So a way is like going somewhere, I guess. So what does sub mean? Where do we find a subway? Subway means below. Exactly. It's below the ground. So subway is actually a way to go, like a freeway below ground. So subway is a traveling place below ground. So let's look at another one. Oh, we do the uh, submarine. Submarine. And we know that marine is actually water or a, a, 
like an ocean, that kind of a place. And so submarines go under water or below water. That's cool, isn't it? Let's do one more. One more. Subtitle. Subtitle. A subtitle. Subtitles go below the title. Wow. A subtitle is below the title. Cool. So when you watch a movie, you've got the title of the movie, and then all the other things like the director, the all those things, those are all subtitles because they're smaller or below the title. All right, let's do com, combine. So when we combine, combine something, we put... What? We put things um, together. Exactly. To combine means to merge, to unite, to combine. So we're going to put up here, we're going to put together. Oop, that's not how you spell it. To get E T H E R. Together or with. So when we're combining something, we're putting something with. All right? Very interesting. I wonder what bind actually means. B-I-N-E. Bind is... Uh, weird. Bind? Combined? When you bind something, you put it... You know, you put rope around it or something. Combine means you bind these things together. Oh, interesting. Interesting on that one. All right, let's do another one. Um, compress. Compress. So we press these things together. Oh, cool. Let's go to pro. Let's go to pro. Pro is an interesting word, right? Pro is a common prefix. We use it quite a bit. But in the words that we're going to use, we're going to go propel. Propel. When you propel something, it actually moves it forward. So we're going to go forward. Or for, or or, something like that. But I would stick with forward for most of the stuff. Forward is the way we're going to go. Okay, so when we propose, when we propose, propose, that means you want to say something to go forward, right? Pose, to present, to give, to, to uh, present forward. So you want to go, you want to have something, you, you talk to somebody to go forward. So if you propose for marriage, you want something to happen in the future, or the, you want to, to move forward with this person. Interesting. Now let's get to E-N. N. When you enable, enable, what are you doing when you enable something? Enable, you are causing something to happen. So when you are an able something, able means having the power, the skill. When you enable, you're causing something to have the power or to do something, the opportunity, the means. So you're causing them to do that. Isn't that cool? When you enable, when we enable you to do things, then we let you do it. Now this one's... Interesting. Endanger. N 
Danger. So we're causing danger to happen. So if we're endangering somebody, our friends or anything, we're actually causing something to happen. So we're causing danger to happen. Wow. Very interesting. These are some interesting words. Sub means below. Calm means together. Pro means forward. N means causing something to happen. So what I need you to do is I need you to take the rest of the words that we have around here and I need you to say them and write them out and kind of get an idea of what you think those words are going to mean so we can talk about them. Find out what you think some of these other words are meaning from the prefixes that are on them. All right? Okay, get your work done. See ya. Bye.